If your slow motion videos have been looking like this, and you'd rather they look like this, well, you're in the right place because that's a topic for today's video. So the number one problem, the number one mistake that people make is they're not shooting in the right mode or with the right frame rate. Now, what do I mean? Well, if you're not really kind of taking control of all the manual controls of your camera or you're shooting with a smartphone, step one is make sure you're shooting in the right mode. If your camera has a slow motion feature, use that because the mistake that's being made is you're not shooting at a high enough frame rate. Now, typically what we're working in with videos like this is 30 frames per second as the final frame rate of the project. To be able to slow videos down, imagine that we have a one second clip and we want to slow that down by 50%. Well, if we shot it at 30 frames per second, what's going to happen when we slow it down? Half of the video is going to play in one second and the other half is going to play in another second, which means we're stretching all of those frames out across two seconds. So now we have 15 frames for the first part of playback and 15 frames for the second part. That's not enough frames. So we need to have at least 60 frames to work with if we're going to cut the video in half and it's going to play back at 30 frames per second. I hope that makes sense. The big thing is you have to remember that the frame rate you shoot in has to be larger than the base frame rate of your project if you're slowing things down. And if you want to do it by 50%, double the project frame rate. So again, 30 frames per second. I need at least 60 frames so that I can cut it in half. Now when I'm working and I'm shooting videos that I'm, I'm cutting the speed. I'm actually cutting the speed to 20% the original playback, which means I need even more frames. I'm shooting at 120 frames per second, and that allows me to do just that. If I want to cut it in half with 120 frames per second, I can do that, and then it just discards all the extra frames. So shoot at the right frame rate. That's critical, or shoot in the right mode. Now, if you're working where you're not editing on your phone, for me, I use DaVinci Resolve, and my timeline frame rate is 30 frames per second. Really 29.97, I think it is. But basically 30 frames per second. My footage that was shot in 120 frames per second, I drag into the project. Now when I'm working with it, I bring it down on the timeline, and you can right click and open your retime controls, or you can click Control R or Command R, and those will open up for you. And then you'll notice a drop down arrow where you can change the speed, or you can add speed points. And you can add as many speed points as you want so that you can transition between normal speed and slow motion, and then back to normal speed, back to slow motion, as many times as you see fit. The handles that you see on the clip, the bottom handle you can click and drag back and forth, and that's gonna control where that transition takes place. If you wanna, maybe you find that it's becoming slow motion a little too soon, and you want to wait another frame or a few frames before slow motion kicks in, that's what those handles are for. You can also right click and open up the retime curve, and that's gonna allow you to smooth out the transition between normal speed and slow motion and vice versa by just clicking on the points where those transitions occur and then clicking on the curve icon. And then you can drag out by clicking on the handles that you'll see, you can drag out how long that transition, how smooth that transition occurs and the basically the length of time over which it occurs. So those are the basics of working with slow motion video footage. Now, one last thing to keep in mind, when you're shooting at a higher frame rate, typically you need more light. In this case, I'm shooting outside, and if that's the nature of the, the video footage that you're working with, you're not gonna find much of an issue, but as you increase the frame rate, if you're shooting inside, you might find that you need to add more light in order for your exposure to look normal. So those are some quick tips on working with slow motion footage. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you soon. Take care. If you're ready to get started making movies of your own, let me help you learn how to tell your story the way it deserves to be heard.